riding, so I'm going to my car so that I can film my video today. And I'm actually decided to start talking to y'all on my way to the car because I'm excited about what we're going to talk about today. So today's Let's Talk About series is going to be on letting go. So we're going to talk about letting go. And one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about letting go is because I started thinking about the fact that our, uh, my 30 year class reunion is coming up. And it was funny because I, uh, last year I think it was, might have been, I don't know if it was last year, year before last. Anyway, I was talking to my husband because we were getting ready to go to the, um, homecoming game and you know as we got there I was like you know don't be surprised if don't be surprised if and the reason that that was my attitude is because when I was in high school I was the weird kid I was the one that wasn't really people knew who I was but that didn't necessarily make make me popular and so um i wasn't on the uh cheerleading squad i wasn't on the give me a second i'm gonna get it okay i guess i'm in a dark place today let me see Ooh, that's weird hmm well i hope y'all can see me i parked in a different spot today and this might just be a dark video. I don't know. But anyway, um, when I was in high school, I wasn't, you know, one of the popular kids. People knew who I was because we had gone to elementary school together. and We had gone to middle school together and things like that. And so by the time we reached high school, you know, I wasn't wearing the latest fashion. My hair wasn't in the latest style. Um, my dad was on a fixed income raising three kids by himself and so we didn't have a lot of the things that you know the popular because I was raised in the 80s during the time where you know preppy was in and but there was also if you if you remember the movie the breakfast club there was a mixture you know the jock the prep um, the geek you know things like that and so that was really <laughs> a remnant that was that really resembled the era that I grew up in and I was one of the ones that was into the punk and I was into you know a lot of the other stuff I wasn't into dressing you know to the nines and things like that to go to school anyway I said all that to say that um you know I I was going through a lot of things when I was um in high school and um I won't get into what those things were but it just made me feel like I wasn't part of the inner circle and so when I went to the the uh, homecoming game for the first year I was trying to prepare my husband um so that he you know if people didn't talk to me if people remembered who I was and they kind of spoke but really didn't hold conversation you know that he was already aware of why that was not that I felt like people had anything against me but you know when you know that you were not part of that crowd I just don't pretend I don't pretend to be something that I'm not but to my surprise the people that I thought was kind of like in that little circle they were they had their cliques and they were popular and things like that are the ones that probably uh, drew me in the most you know I was getting hugs from people I was uh, strolling down memory lane with people and it was just so different than what I imagined in my mind and I don't know if you remember in one of my previous videos one of the things that I mentioned was we always have a different perception of what another person has. you know you're in a situation with someone and the way that you perceive it to be is completely different than the way the other person perceives it to be and so as i began to talk to my classmates i learned that their perception of me was completely different than what i thought 
how I thought they perceived me to be. And so that was just really funny um, to me. And as I get older and, and, you know, mature and learn how to deal with different things, you know, one of the things that I'm also learning is letting things go. I dealt with a lot of uh, different forms of abuse when I was growing up. And so I had just developed this uh, disposition that, you know, people were always, I'm not going to say always have to get me because I'm not crazy. I just felt like people just didn't have good intentions where I was concerned. It kind of came off one way and but it was it was really meant to be another way and a prime example of that is um a person that i really thought that i was close to coming up as a child we spent a lot of time together playing together you know pretending we were having picnics and all sort of things and then you know as i got older they show themselves they show themselves to be completely different than what i thought they were um I went through something that was very difficult for me and maybe later on, you know, I'll feel brave enough to share that with you. Um, and I was just really shocked because anytime it came up, they just kind of blew it off. Like, you know, almost as if to say they were sick of, sick of hearing about it, but I couldn't do anything about that because it happened to me. It, it was a part of my history and it, began to shape me at some point until I finally decided that I was not going to allow that thing to control my destiny, to control <clears throat> what kind of person I developed into. And that was really hard trying to pull myself out of that. And I'm very glad that I was able to do that. And I know that it was nobody but God that helped me because a lot of things that I've been through, um, I just truly believe that if God had, had not been watching over me, that I just would not be where I am today. And it's not to say that I don't have um, baggage because everybody has baggage. Everybody, ha you know, whether you outwardly express that or not, you have issues and hangups of things that you're, gra that you're fighting your way out of, situations that you're fighting your way out of. And so I constantly build on that every day. I try to be better every day. I try to, to think of things differently every day because I just absolutely refuse to be in a place where I'm constantly focused on the negative. So I'm that person that will always, I'm not gonna say I try, always try to find a silver lining, but I definitely always try to try to find something good in the situation. And so even when it's really hard, at the end of the day, that's my objective is to try to see what good can come out of that situation. So I'm that person that, you know, somebody say, oh my God, it's raining cats and dogs. And I'll say, oh, well, at least it's not raining elephants. So basically my thought is at least it's, at least it's not as bad as it could be. And so anyway, with all of that being said, you know, when I was in college, um, I'm, I studied psychology and, you know, one of the things that they try to tell you is to try to find, you know, what, what school of thought um, connects with you, with you the most. And there are six different schools of thought and the two that kind of really stuck me was behaviorism and cognitivism. And... I guess that's because, you know, I'm a thinker, but I also try to look at, you know, why people do what they do, you know, so on and so forth. And and those schools of thought are more than what they superficially represent. So it's not just about how a person behaves. You have to study a little bit more to really get a good understanding. And so cognitive, t cognitivism is not just about how a person thinks or how their mind works. It's more to it than that. And so... You know, I, I thought for sure, you know, initially I was, oh, you know, I'm a behaviorist and that's the type of theory I believe in. And then when I started studying, uh, you know, about cognition, I was like, oh, you know, so <laughs> I was like, oh, over here, over here, over here, you know, trying to figure out what it is that I believe in. But it's okay if you believe a little bit of this and a little bit of this and you kind of put it all together because that's really how psychology came to be. Um, uh, one theorist put out there that this is what they believed in and then somebody said okay yeah I believe in that too however let's add a little bit of this and then these different schools of thought came came together so there's one school of school of thought that is also interesting to me and that's humanism 
So anyway, I'm not really going to get, you know, deep into what those schools of thought are. The reason I brought those up is because in general, as, as individuals, you know, it's really difficult for us to look at the action instead of the person, because especially when you're connected to a person um, who like very closely, if they do something or they behave in a way that's hurtful to you, it's hard to separate the person from the action and that is a practice that we really should work on and i'm talking about myself you know as well we really should work on daily because a situation can dictate how a person behaves from day to day if they're having a good day or this situation does not exist on this day they will behave this way and it's not to say that people are not genuine it's just this your circumstances sometimes can affect your reaction to different things so if you're having we talked about this in another video if you're having a really hard day sometimes it's hard to process how to behave rationally sometimes it's very difficult to to always smile about something sometimes it's hard to listen to what people have to say when they're going through their problems if you're already going through something and so i said all that to say that when something happens to you and i and i hope this is not like going around and around in circles but when something happens to you if it, you know if it involves another individual you know it is very beneficial for us to stop take a minute and, and think about the situation and maybe some sometimes it's not good to think about it at all but to just kind of distance ourselves for a moment so that we can regroup and come back with a different perspective or at least a, a stronger, more positive mindset, you know, before we get too deep into whatever just happened. And the reason I say that this is important is because I think this will help, will help to facilitate in letting go of certain things. So I had um, a few issues that I was dealing with in my past and you know I have since let those things go and it was hard because I kind of carried that with me for years you know through my uh, childhood through my young adulthood and you know through my adulthood and it was when I saw that person I just almost used to cringe because I you know that um those circumstances made me very I don't think they made me bitter it was just so hurtful that I when I saw that person I immediately felt like I almost like I was in emotional danger if that makes sense like I had to really be careful and really guard my emotions and guard my conversation because that person could just not be trusted and I don't like walking around like that I don't know how many of you feel like you just don't want to walk around holding on to stuff because it feels like it's eating at the very core of who you are and that's not a good place to be in so today I want to talk about um you know as we're talking about letting go you know let's dialogue and share uh some suggestions on how we can let go I know what things have worked for me in the past and what things are currently working uh, for me that might not be the same thing that works for you and so I want to be all-inclusive I want to you know not just you know make it seem like my uh, recommendations or my suggestions are that's the way you know I never want the videos to come across that you know this is me telling you how to deal with whatever it is that you're going through you know how to move past whatever it is that that you're struggling with those barriers um may differ based on you know individuals and circumstance and things like that and so you know the whole point of sharing the videos and sharing these uh let's talk about topics you know is to get the conversation started about these different areas of life to try to find ways to help each other no one person has all the answers the only you know the only one that ha they know everything and they have the answer to everything is god and we are not God you know we shouldn't make things our God and so anyway um, and I'm not I'm not gonna get in all I'm not preaching I'm not gonna get into all of that but what I'm saying is you know we can never live long enough where we know everything it's just not possible 
because even like we'll take medicine for example even in medicine when when these doctors have gone to school from the moment that they get there they started their education to the time they get their degree so much has changed because we as individuals change medicine can never remain the same because diseases and medical issues and conditions and things like that don't remain the same and so that's how you have to start kind of process things through your head is that things are always changing things are always fluctuating and we want to move with the world and and learn how to manage the things that we're going through as things change what we did 10 years ago to manage um, the issues that we face in life and raising our kids and you know trying to uh, champion those those hurdles that that we have that we that come up against us the way that we dealt with those things 10 years ago is not how we would deal with things today because things today are so different I used to tell my kids all the time oh my goodness you know a lot of the stuff that y'all are dealing with I didn't have to worry about that stuff because even if those things existed when I was coming up, we weren't exposed to them. I just, living in Houston, living in Hiram Clark, you know, I listen now, uh, some of the students call Madison, that's where I graduated from high school, Madhouse. I'm like, why is that a badge of honor for, to call the, the institution that's educating you a madhouse? Do you not realize a madhouse represents something that's completely chaotic and, and disorganized and and just all over the place why would you want to associate yourself with a stigma like that you know i would never want to be you know the institution where i came out my where i got my education being known as a madhouse you know and w along with that comes a lot of the the stories and stuff that i'm hearing about the the drug activity and the gang activity and the neighborhoods that we grew up in they just don't even look the same and, you know to start off they're almost like a ghost town because a lot of the elderly and the adults that live there that raised us, that, that village, you know, we talk about the village, they're gone or either they moved on. The kids didn't, you know, they didn't stay in the homes that we were raised in. So um, anyway, so we want to, uh, you know, to talk a little bit more about how to how to let go. And so if you have any suggestions or if you have a conversation you know that you want to get started about ways that you can let go whether it's emotional where whether it's an addiction you know whatever it is that you feel like you're trying to let go of you know if you want to start a dialogue about how to do that leave a comment below um, and we definitely want you to uh, click that subscribe button so that you are uh, in that notification bell so that you're notified when um, I post another video I'm trying to make sure that I do a video um, in the let's talk about series um, a few times where I really would like to do it every day I think there's enough topics um, to do it every day and so if you have a topic that you uh, would like to for me to touch on uh, you know also leave that below follow us on all of our social media we have a Facebook page Twitter and Instagram um, I also have a website I also have a, a second channel which is my nonprofit organization the the faces of the village um, and we are on YouTube we have a website um, we are also on uh, Twitter Instagram and Facebook and so we'd love to have you as part of the family um, go ahead and click that subscribe button click the notification bell leave us a comment and like this video and we look forward to interacting with you on our on our next let's talk about video have a good day bye